I want to give a huge shout out to EA for sponsoring today's video. Woo! What is good, Mac family? It's the one and only Eli Mac. Big thing of today. We are here with something very lit and very special once again thank you to ea ea is doing this very cool thing where not only us content creators but also every single person who is watching this video right now can vote for the madden 23 offensive player of the year the offensive nominee voting started february 17th and is going to february 22nd bro so make sure you get in there man click the link in the top of the description and the winners will be revealed in early march bro i am so excited i absolutely love when ea does things like this because it it offers a lot of engagement for you guys who love the game of Madden just like me. But listen, bro, I'm going to need you guys' help, bro. I'm going to need a whole bunch of comments. I'm going to need a whole bunch of opinions because I have the offensive list of nominees from quarterback, running back, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, tight end, and even the offensive lineman. And we're about to go through them right now. And what I want you to do is go in the comments and let me know one player from each position that you think deserves to be player of the year for that position, bro. Let's get right into it. Also, too, bro, make sure you smash that like and that sub button, man. We're gonna roll to 700,000 subscribers, man. Show some love, man. Let go. In the quarterback position, the first player we have is Justin Fields. The next quarterback we have, Josh Allen. Next up on the list, Jalen Hurts. On the list of quarterbacks, we also have Justin Herbert. And you already know, they could not forget that boy Patrick Mahomes. And last but surely not least, on the quarterback position, we have Joe Burrow. So listen, bro, before I move on to the running backs, let me know in the comments which quarterback do you think is the number one out of all of them, man. In the running back position, we have Nick Chubb, Tony Pollard, Christian McCaffrey, Jamal Williams, Josh Jacobs, and last but not least, my favorite running back of all time, because you guys know I'm a fan of Big Blue, baby, Saquon Barkley. So once again, bro, out of all of those running backs, let me know who you think deserves player of the year. I'm going to be reading all of the comments too, bro, and replying to a lot of them, bro. So I, I better see some good comments in there, man. At the wide receiver number one position, first we have that boy Ty Reek Hill, aka the Cheetah. Next we have Devontae Adams. Next up we have that boy AJ Brown. And listen, bro, for some reason, a lot of people say I look like this guy. I don't really see it, but I've done pranks in the past where I acted like I was him and uh, it actually worked out. It got a million views. So <laughs> we're talking about that boy, Justin J. Jettas Jefferson, man. So out of those four wide receivers and the wide receiver one, let me know who you guys think deserves player of the year. Now we're moving on to the wide receiver two position. And what better way to start than with my boy Stephon Diggs. Then we got that boy Jamar Chase. Next up, we have C.D. Lamb. Then Jalen Waddle. And last but not least, Amon Ross St. Brown. I ain't gonna lie, that's a very cool name too, my boy. So boom, make sure you go in the comments and let me know who you think deserves it out of the wide receiver two position. Now listen, we are moving on to arguably one of my most favorite positions to watch in the game of football, and that is the tight end, bro. You're probably asking me, Eli, why do you love tight ends so much, bro? I feel like tight ends are quarterback security blankets, man. And I was just at the big game, and I was able to see that boy Travis Kelsey score a touchdown in real life in the big game, and also seen him make a bunch of big plays. And I just love how tight ends move, man. So at the tight end position, tight end number one, George Kittle. Tight end number two, Mark Andrews. Tight end number three, TJ Hawkinson. And last but not least, arguably my favorite tight end of all time, Travis Kelsey. Now listen, bro, those are all of the offensive nominees from quarterback, running back, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, and tight end. Obviously, we have some linemen, and linemen deserve a whole lot of love too, so I'm gonna go through their names quickly, just so you guys can know who's on the list. At the center position, we have Jason Kelsey, Creed Humphrey, Frank Ragno. At the left guard position, Joe Thune, Joel Batonio, and Quentin Nelson. At right guard, we got Chris Lindstrom, Michael Onwinu, and Zach Martin. At left tackle, we have Christian Derisaw, Andrew Drew Thomas and Trent Williams. And at right tackle, we have Tristan Wirfs, Brian Ramsey, and Lane Johnson. So there you have it. You just seen every single offensive player of the year nominee. Like I said, go in the comments and let me know who you think deserves it the most. And what I'm going to do is pick some of my favorite guys, go through some of their stats, and explain why I think they should be at the top of that list. And also, I'm going to put a team together with my favorite quarterback, my favorite running back, my favorite wide receiver one, my favorite wide receiver two, my favorite tight 
tight end and my favorite offensive lineman at each position, create a team with them and play a quick game of Madden and hopefully run it up, man. Let's get it going. So boom, back to the quarterback. We got Justin Fields at a 76 overall. Josh Allen at a big 93 with the bazooka X factor. Jalen Hurts coming off of a big game loss with a superstar ability, 87 overall. Justin Herbert with a superstar ability, 88 overall. Joe Burrow with a superstar X factor ability, running gun, 95 overall, bro. And last but not least, that boy Patrick Mahomes, 98 overall bazooka. I feel like he should personally be a 99. And honestly, in the quarterback position, I don't really think anyone is missing. I think everyone that's in this list is definitely all good candidates. Go in the comments and let me know if you agree. I believe maybe Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady could have been in there. Let me know if you agree and also let me know who you think could have been in there. But like I said, I'm here to try to assemble a team and narrow it down to one player in each position. And I'm gonna have to go with my boy Patrick Mahomes in the quarterback category just because I feel like he's the best quarterback out of that entire category so when it comes to assembling this dream team right now that we're about to build i'm gonna have patrick mahomes as my quarterback and i feel like out of the quarterback category he should be the offensive player of the year as you see bro 98 overall this guy was just playing absolute crazy football this year even after he got hurt he was able to make it all the way through the big game get hurt in the big game and still come out with a clutch win bro patrick mahomes is just an absolute beast he has a 97 throw power 97 short throw accuracy 93 medium throw accuracy 91 deep throw accuracy 98 throw in the run 97 throw under pressure 88 break sack 96 play action he's, he's literally a monster bro we're gonna go ahead and throw him on the dream team that's what we're gonna do and shout out to everyone else in the quarterback category but this is who i'm going with let's go ahead and move on to the running back category baby so this is where things get a little bit emotional for me because i am a big fan of big blue bro and you guys know i love my boy saquon barkley man but he did have a great season. Don't get me wrong. He was definitely a top 10 running back. He, he was literally the sixth best running back as far as stats in the entire NFL, which is obviously why he's on this list. But I have if I have to go for straight stats and stuff like that, he was not the best running back on this entire list, but I just love him so much. So I would love to throw him on my dream team and obviously have him win in the running back category. But first, let's go through every player. So we got Saquon Barkley, superstar X-Factor really first one free 94 overall. We got Tony Pollard, 85 overall. He had also a really good season. He was the eighth best running back out of the top 10. Christian McCaffrey, bro. He was the number two running back as far as stats this year. Had an absolute amazing studded season, bro, especially after going to a brand new team, bro. Shout out to him. Superstar X Factor ability, ankle breaker 90 overall, man. Jamal Williams was the seventh best running back as far as stats this year. He absolutely had a pretty good season as well, especially for being a low overall. Then we got that boy, Nick Chubb, man. He started the season very, very hot. You know what I'm saying? He ended up being number five on the list of running backs as far as stats, bro, which is still great, bro. He's top five. Right there above Saquon Barkley by one. 92 overall, bro. Breaking ball superstar X Factor ability, man. But the thing that makes this the hardest is that boy, Josh Jacobs. He ended up being the number one, bro. Number one running back in the entire NFL, bro, this year, bro, which was crazy. He had the most yards by a long shot. He had 12 rushing touchdowns. There was only two other players that had more than him, Derrick Henry and Austin Eckler, and it was only 13. So he literally was almost the top guy when it comes to not only yards, but touchdowns this season. And he had that super 86-yard long run, bro, earlier this year. So the thing is, bro, if we're talking about stats and being honest here, I have to go with Josh Jacobs, but I'm such a big Saquon Barkley fan that a piece of me just wants to go with him just because out of the love, man. But like, honestly, I'll be honest and say this, bro. From stats, and you guys in the comments can go ahead and let me know if you agree. What do you think I should do? From stats, Josh Jacob obviously should win, right? But since I'm such a big, big blue fan, I think I gotta go with, you know, say Saquon Barkley. And that's what I'm gonna do. He has a higher overall as well. I'm gonna put Saquon Barkley on my dream team, even though Josh Jacobs had better stats. And if he wins, I wouldn't be surprised. He deserves it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. So now we're at wide receiver one, bro. We got that boy Tyreek Hill, 92 to overall rack him up superstar x factor ability with that 99 speed of course you guys know he's a monster and tyreek hill was the number three best wide receiver when it came to stats this year then we got that boy Devonte adams 98 overall double me superstar x factor ability an absolute monster it's crazy to think that he's only six foot one i always thought he was way taller because he plays like very tall so that's pretty crazy to see right now and he was the number two best wide receiver in the league when it came to stats but the thing about Devonte adams is even though he was the number two best player all around he had the most touch touchdowns by a long shot. He had 14 touchdowns this season, bro. The only two people to even come close was AJ Brown and Stephon Diggs, and they had 11. So that just goes to show Devontae Adams scoring the ball-wise was an absolute monster, which is exactly why he's on this list. Then we got that boy AJ Brown at a 91 overall. Most of the top receivers had over 100 receptions. AJ Brown only
only had 88 and he still was number fourth on the list and almost had as much yards as everyone else. He had about 1,400 yards this season. The top guy in the entire lead had 1,800, bro. So 1,400 is not too far for 1,800 to have almost half as many receptions. That's very good, man. And also, man, he had the second most amount of touchdowns in the league this season at 11. Like I was telling you, the only other player to do that was Stephon Dix. He also had 11. And last but not least, the guy that everyone says I look like him, Justin Jefferson, bro. 96 overall, 92 speed. Double me, superstar X-Factor ability, an absolute monster, bro. I'm actually really proud of this guy and how he's been flourishing in the league, bro. He's been going absolutely insane, bro. And he was the number one wide receiver in the league this year, bro. He had 1,800 yards, 128 receptions. He only had eight touchdowns, which is a lot, but compared to some of the other guys I was naming, not the most, but the yards was crazy. He had that crazy one-hand catch. I forget which week it was, probably week 10 or 11. That crazy one-hand catch, you guys know what I'm talking about. And he even had had a rushing touchdown this season, man. He's this guy was doing it all. So out of the wide receiver one position, I'm gonna end up picking two wide receivers because you guys know when you're playing football, you can have up to five wide receivers, you know, on the field at a time. So I gotta pick multiple. And based off the stats, Justin Jefferson was the number one guy. So I'm gonna pick him as my first wide receiver one. And now for me, it's between Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams. Now listen, Devontae Adams had the most touchdowns. He obviously played great. And he was the number two wide receiver while Tyreek Hill was the number three. But I'm going to go with Tyreek Hill just because he's Tyreek. He's super fast and he's just known as being that guy always since he's been in the league. So I'm going to go with that boy Tyreek Hill and Justin Jefferson. Those are my two wide receiver ones. Let me know in the comments who you would have picked. And wide receiver two, we got Stephon Diggs up first. 97 overall, rack him up, superstar X-Factor ability, 92 speed, 92 agility, 99 awareness. This guy just an absolute monster, bro. And he had the second most touchdowns at 11. And also he was a top five wide receiver, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to lie. We're just going to go ahead and get straight to it. I'm picking him. So I'm going to pick two guys from this list as well. And um, he's going to be one of them for sure. Let's go to take my boy Stephon Diggs on the dream team. Now listen, Jamar Chase didn't even make the top 10 cut as far as stats this year. He was number 12, but he still is a very good wide receiver. He's a beast as well. And then fun fact, I actually met him uh, a couple days ago at an event. And um, I'm taller than him, bro. Oh, yeah, it says it right here. Look, he's six foot. <laughs> I'm six three. So it's like, it's, I don't know. It's kind of weird to be taller than uh, receivers who's in the league. You know what I mean? It's pretty funny, but I'm actually taller than Jamar Chase. So Jamar Chase, 92 overall, superstar ability, 94 speed. This guy's a very, very solid, solid wide receiver, bro. But I'm not going to make my choice yet if I want him. In Dallas, we got that boy C.D. Lamb, superstar ability, 88 overall, six foot two absolute monster he had a pretty good season as well but let me not downplay it bro he had a very good season he was a top 10 receiver at number six as far as stats he went absolutely insane this year he had nine touchdowns which is more than justin jefferson who was the number one receiver so he was going crazy when it comes to scoring the ball man shout out to cd lamb then we got that boy jalen waddle also a teammate of tyreek hills bro 88 overall superstar ability and he was a top 10 wide receiver this year bro he literally was number seven he played so amazing and so well bro he had a great season as well so shout out to Jalen and last but not least we got that boy Amon Ross St. Brown with a super cool name bro superstar ability 85 overall and believe it or not he was a top 10 receiver at number nine bro he played really really well this season as well so shout out to him bro I believe this was his second year in the league maybe his first so shout out to him man he has a long bright future ahead of him he keeps playing like this and like I said bro I want to pick two people from wide receiver one bro so I'm gonna go ahead and take my boy Stephon Diggs like I said and I'm gonna go ahead and take C D Lamb even though I'm a fan of Big Blue and I don't really like you know what I'm saying? Dallas too much. CD Lamb, I can't lie, bro. He was a beast. We're going to take CD Lamb and Stephon Diggs, Justin Jefferson, and Tyreek Hill. And I think I got to take one more wide receiver in case I do a five wide. So since that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and take my boy Jamar Chase. So now we're in the tight end category, bro. First up on that list is that boy George Kittle. He had the second most touchdowns in the league, bro. At 11, he went absolutely insane, bro. Big shout out to him. 96 overall. Yak him up as far as his superstar X Factor ability goes. Six foot four. He's a big dude, man. 250 pounds, bro. I would not want to tackle him. Next up, we got Mark Andrews. Now, listen, he didn't have nowhere near as many touchdowns as George Kittle, but he did have more yards than him this season. Also, he was a top five receiver at number five. Did I just say receiver, bro? I'm tweaking, bro. My bad. I meant he's a top five tight end, bro. Big shout out to Mark Andrews. 95 overall. Yak him up as well on his X Factor. Six foot five, 247 pounds. Also a big guy, bro. Then we got TJ Hawkinson. He had more yards than George Kittle and Mark Andrews. He had six touchdowns while Mark Andrews only had five, but he did not have as much as George Kittle. George Kittle had 11. But he was still an absolute beast, obviously, bro. Top five wide receiver. He was number four on the tight end list. But did I say wide receiver again? Bro, what's going on with me, bro? But yeah, bro, 90 overall, no superstar ability, no X-Factor or nothing. And last but not least, 
my boy, my favorite tight end. You guys know already who I'm going to put on my dream team. That boy, Travis Kelsey, 99 overall, double me superstar X-Factor ability. The number one wide receiver in the league. He had the most touchdowns at 12, the most yards by a long shot at 1,300 yards. Nobody else even barely touched 1,000 yards at tight end position. He had 1,300. 152 targets and 110 receptions. That means he barely dropped any passes. And more than half of those probably weren't even drops. They were probably just bad throws by Patrick Mahomes, bro. So with that being said, Travis Kelsey is an absolute monster. I'm going to pick two tight ends out of this list to put on my team. And obviously, you guys know I'm taking Travis Kelsey number one. And number two, I'm going to take my boy George Kittle. Let's go, baby. And yes, we love linemen. We want to show love to them, bro. But I don't want to get too deep into their stats and stuff. If you know, you know. This is going to be my picks for linemen. I'm going to take Jason Kelsey at center. Quentin Nelson at left guard. Zach Martin at right guard. Trent Williams at left tackle. And Ryan Ramzik at right tackle. Bro. So that is my dream team right there, bro. It's probably going to take me about an hour to sit here and actually build it. I got to do a lot of trades and stuff, but let me go ahead and do that and knock that out. And then we're going to get right into a game, bro. And we're going to see if we can get a big win with the offensive nominees that I think should be winning. Once again, bro, make sure you guys go in the comments. Let me know what you think of my list so far. Also, tell me your list and make sure you click the link in the top of the description to make your vote, bro. Voting ends February 22nd, man. Let's go. I want to see what you guys vote for. Woo! You guys see. Oh my God. So you guys know I'm a fan the big blue so yes i had to put everybody on the big blue squad hoping that one day this can come true and maybe we could win like 30 big games back to back but we all know that's never gonna happen but you guys see we got patrick mahomes on us saquon barkley with us tyree kill stefan dick justin jefferson jamar chase and cd lamb with us travis kelsey and george kittle with us trent williams with us Quentin Nelson, Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin, and Ryan Ramzik. Listen, bro, we literally got a bomb squad right here, bro. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and get into this game. We're going to do a quick game, three-minute quarters. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play on a pretty good difficulty, and we're going to see if we can just score a bunch of touchdowns and have an explosive offense because these are all of my picks for Offensive Player of the Year out of all of the nominees, man. Let's see what we do. All right, man, you see the unit coming out here, bro. Patrick Mahomes, all of these guys is so crazy seeing them on the same squad. The first things first, though, I don't know why we are so backed up on a two-yard line. I don't know what happened, bro. But I got to run the ball with my boy Saquon Barkley first play to see what we can do. Saquon Barkley, good little run, baby. Let's go. Get us out of that dangerous field position. Boom. You see, look at Tyree Kills, Stephon Diggs, George Kittle, freaking Patrick Mahomes. This is a crazy thing to see right now. I'm just going to throw it up to my boy. Right there, Travis Kelsey. Oh, he dropped it, bro. But if he would have came down with that, I was going to say that is exactly why I love Travis Kelsey, bro, because he just comes down with some crazy crazy catches sometimes let's get this thing rocking though it's okay we're all good so the only person to seem to keep that number was Tyree Kill and rightfully so number 10 right there with that crazy speed able to get a quick first down let's go bro I want to try to get my boy Justin Jefferson a big play though I'm not even gonna cap I think I want to go over top too because you know I got Patrick Mahomes with that crazy arm I'm gonna just throw it up Justin Jefferson Patrick Mahomes oh that should have been a pass interference, man. I'm already knowing there's going to be some crazy catches and plays in this game, though. I can just tell by the effort that the receivers are putting in to go up and try to catch these balls. They're going to come down with one of them. Oh, my God. I overthrown a little bit. That should have been a pass interference as well. Third down to 10, baby. Come on. Let's do something. We need something real right here. Oh, my God. Patrick Mahomes on the run. Patrick Mahomes on the run like he does so well all the time. Like he does all the well so time. Oh my goodness, it's fourth down right now, bro. Oh my God, I'm not playing the best right now. I think I'm a little nervous. But it's okay, bro. You guys know, on fourth down, we go for it. We have some of the best players in the National Football League right now on this team. So it's only right that we go for it. And of course, I'm gonna hit my boy, Tyreek Hill, on fourth and 10 for a huge catch and touchdown. Stop playing with the cheetah, big stiff arm. Let's go, baby, stop playing with him. Yes, Sersky. Hey, hey, let's go, baby. Big first down to 10. I wanna try something deep again. You guys know I got my bazooka. I'm just gonna throw it up. I don't know who exactly this is. Oh my goodness, I think that was Stephon Diggs right there, bro, but it did not get completed. It's okay, bro. Let's go back to a run and play, bro. Let's hit another run and play real quick. See if we can get a big one with Saquon Barkley after that big game he had earlier. And, oh, he almost broke out, man. Let's do a hurry up offense. All right, man, Tyreek Hill over there, bro. I want to try to hit him again. You know what I'm saying? I know I got to give everybody love, but Tyreek, I just feel like he's, oh, and I got sacked, bro. It's okay. I'll take it. That was, a, that was a good play. But guess what? It's fourth down, bro. Fourth down right now. You guys know what we did last time on fourth down. Can we did it done again? Can we, can we get it done again? I can't even speak right now. I'm so nervous. Let's go. I'm going to hit my boy right here. Let's go. Oh, bro. I don't know who that is. He is not any of the nominees, but that was a good 
catch by that guy right there, man. And guess who threw it? One of the nominees, Patrick Mahomes. So we still in business, baby. Let's get this thing rocking. I want to try to get my boy Stephon Diggs for a big catch right here. Let's go. Boom. Break. Oh, my God. Good break right there. Too easy. Get in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Touchdown. Let's go, Stephon Diggs. Breaking two stiff arms, looking like Derrick Henry out there, baby. 14 to zero. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this thing rocking, bro. Let's try to hit him again. You see him. Let's go. Boom. Play action. Let's try to hit my boy Jay Jettis. Yep. Jay Jettis. He's too quick. Let's go. Break some tackles. Woo woo. Let's go, Justin. All right, bro. 19 seconds right here, bro. 17. 16. Oh my gosh. A little bit of time left. I want to try to hit Travis Kelsey, my security blanket. In the red zone, he's the best tight end. In the red zone, he's the best tight end. Stop playing with Travis Kelsey. Let's go, baby. Everybody's getting love today. Every single nominee. And not to mention, bro, I've only been sacked one time and put under pressure one other time, bro. That just goes to show that the offensive lineman nominees that I have on the line, Jason Kelsey, Rand, all of those guys, man, they're all blocking and doing their job as well, bro. So this is just looking like an absolute bomb squad right now. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to get in the end zone with Jay Jettas, and you guys know why. That celebration that he does, man, arguably one of the best celebrations in the National Football League history. That gritty. Let's go ahead and get it rocking. Justin, no, you're so close. I got you. I'm going to just heave it up. I'm going to heave it up to you. I'm going to heave it up to you. Boom, let's go hit that gritty. Hey, hey, gritty. Hey, hey, yeah. Stop playing with Justin Jefferson, baby. I want to get a big touchdown with Saquon. I'm not going to lie. It's fourth quarter, too, so running the ball is a smart thing to do. Get off of me. Ah. All right, let's go, man. Let's get this thing rocking, bro. Somebody get open. Oh, oh, nobody's open. Patrick, go, 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 George Kittle. George Kittle. George Kittle. Let's go. We got both of my tight ends with a beautiful touchdown pass and catch. Let's go. Patrick Mahomes throwing on a run like he does best. I watched him do it in the big game in person, bro. Let's go. Stop playing with us. Six seconds left. I want to get in the end zone again with my boy Saquon. Get off of Saquon. Ah, time out, time out, time out, time out. Come on, man. I really want to get in the end zone with Saquon Barkley. I'm going to do another run and play with Saquon Barkley, man. Let's see what we can do. I know if I do a pass and play, I will definitely score like 100%, but I really want to score with Saquon Barkley. So we're going to try last play. Last play, Saquon Barkley. We got in there with Saquon Barkley, my favorite player. Stop playing. Literally every single guy that was on this list almost got targeted today. You know what I'm saying? Jamar Chase and CeeDee Lamb didn't see the ball too much. But shout out to Justin Jefferson. Shout out to Tyreek Hill. Shout out to George Kittle. Shout out to Travis Kelsey. Shout out to everybody, bro. Take on Barkley. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. Everybody did their thing today. And shout out to all of the linemen blocking for me today. What a game. We came out and we got this huge win. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with my list, man. And once again, I want to give a huge shout out to EA for sponsoring today's video. And make sure you click the link in the description and show support for the guy that you want to win like i said voting ends february 22nd bro and the winners will be revealed in early march i hope the guy that you pick wins bro go in the comments and let me know who you pick and yeah man again shout out to ea man i love you guys so much bro ea is the best they always show in love to all of their creators and everyone making these super cool things for everyone to engage with and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bro i got a defensive video coming real soon man it's your boy elon matt gang gang